shuffle it up. Sure, sure. Don't you threaten me. Yeah, I cut I cut for you. Um, get your cuts out of here. Okay, high roll. We got one dice each, I guess. Four. Oh. Off the table. That means minus one. Three. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> Not three. I will choose to go um, second. Yeah, because this deck has a searching Nami that's like cost two? Searching Mami. Searching Mami's. Um, I will hold. Hold them. I will hold. There's a battle that most people didn't see. I'm pretty sure a lot of people never saw it. It's Kuro versus Ace, but. Because you don't know where they. Yeah, couple of mid tiers. I'm gonna start my turn with Izo. Search five for. Was it a character or was it a card? Wiper pirate card. Card. Want to make sure I'm not cheating. Okay, Wiper pirate card. Wiper pirates. Can't go wrong with that. Turn my. Turn your what? Turn my my turn. Draw for my main phase one. Okay. Rest two, play Nami. Nami search for, f look at five for an East Blue. What a rip off, it costs two. I know, what a silly card, it should have been one. Look at the inferiority, two for one. This is why some decks are better than others. And it doesn't even search Whitebeard cards. Yeah, so <laughs> bad. piece of trash. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get Mr. Krieg. He's an East Blue. He's and green. I end my turn. It looks green to me. Okay, let's start the turn with Whitebeard Pirates. Now oh, this gets me a character. Is Buggy a Whitebeard Pirate? He wishes. He, wish. he, he was. No, wait. No, he never was. What are he you was a about? Roger Pirate. <laughs> Close enough. Hmm, what to do? Let's just have Portgis attack Karo for uh, 7,000. Yeah, I'll have to take it. Okay. Okay, I pass. Two and four. Draw. Okay, yeah, let's start with resting two for another Nami Swan. Um. Oh, twins. You know what? I'm gonna get this guy. Pearl. An East Blue Blocker. That's it? That's the best I got. You must have whiffed. Let's see. Alright, Coral. What does he do? Oh, yeah, he has the effect main to. You can rest three Dawns and rest two East Blue type characters. Then you get to put them as reactive. And I get to at the same Himself? time. Yeah. And I rest up to one of the opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. So it's kind of a lot, but it does cost a lot as well. You do that one time at the end of the game. Yep, that's pretty much it. It's a surprise attack. <laughs> attack your leader, five. Sure. Resting two for mm -hmm. Peral. And end my turn. Well, five down. Okay, let's rest five for Marco and kill that peril. Okay. Then have ace attack, Kuro. I'll drop a 1k counter. Then I will pass. Um, I'm gonna have Captain Kuro attack your leader. Yes. 
and I'll rest six to play Krieg. Can't see nothing because nobody's resting. And I end my turn. Good. And I just drew the card I needed. <clears throat> he gets KO'd 100% of the time. 100% of the time. Okay. So first we rest two for Ace's Crossfire. Minus 4,000 power to Krieg. Wow, that's a free Vista. Then we rest another for Vista, Seaquake, to KO Krieg. The Seaquakey. Man. Krieg doesn't last at all. Now we have four extra down to play with. Uh, let's just put this at seven and attack your leader for seven. Okay. And then I'll have my leader attack your leader for eight thousand. Okay, I'll drop two two keys. Then I will pass. I'm at eight to this. Okay, I'm gonna have to gonna have Kuro attack your leader. Just for five? Yeah. Oh, take it. What does this do? I'll keep it in my hand. Okay. I'm gonna rest five and play. Django. Django, step to one of my leaders is active. I'll use that effect. Captain Kuro, attack your leader. One, two, Django? One, two, Django. I'll use my leader's effect. A trash event. Plus 1,000. Okay. Rest three more for uh, Okiku. And pass my turn. One, two, Django. Oh, so many cards in my hand. What do I do? Have Marco attack leader for seven. Okay, I'll have to take it. Wait, I got a trigger. Play this card, Karobi. On play, I can rest an opponent's character and just rest the Izo. Any character? Yeah. Well, that's crazy. He's one of the better ones. It's just his attack is so weak. Trigger as good as what it is. Okay. No, ace, attack your leader for five. Drop one K. Rest seven for ace. Uh, I don't care about his minus effect, so I'm not going to use it for it. I'll attack your leader for seven. Okay, I'll draw a card. I'll take life. And I will pass. Okay. No, I'm at Ten. Hmm. He's got this. I need this. I'm gonna give it down to Django. I'll attack your leader at seven. Sure, I'll take that. Take. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna have Okiku attack your leader at five. I'll trash this for one thousand power. Okay. I'm gonna give three down to Kuro. Attack your leader at eight. Trash two Makinos for four thousand. I'm going to activate his effect uh, by resting three. I rest two of East Blues. Oh, that's the reason. Wow. And he'll be active again. And I can rest an opponent's card five, cost five or less. Not going to do it. So I'm going to attack again at eight to your leader. Trash two of Tunnels for 4,000. Okay. Rest three more. To play out of the bag, you may rest an East Blue type character. Set Kuro is active again. Wow. Yeah. I should have never given Jango a Dawn. I would have been able to attack three times for nine. I messed that up. Seven. It was good to give him a Dawn. Okay. Because I pretty much lost after this. All right, uh, yeah, eight attack Marco. Actually, no, attack your leader. Marco mm -hmm. comes back, I forgot. Charge this for 1,000 and rest for a guard point. Put him at 9,000. Nothing matters. Pass turn. Let's draw. You see, Kuro's cool. Three attacks in one turn. Not even Captain Eustace Kid can pull that off. Not even. Not even he. Alright, let's just start. Rest 2 Dawn plus 4,000 for my ace leader. Let's give 2, put him at 9. That was probably a mistake because you have that this trigger that you might play. He can't rest my leader, correct? No. He has any character though. Alright, then I have him attack for 9. Nine. Okay. Just gonna attack. Let's see. Nine thousand attack for fifteen to leader. Of course, can't cover it. This is a really good main effect. Two down for four thousand power. Damn. No, I think <laughs> last turn I was better off. I should have put nine on him. Hit three times for nine. I would have knocked on that last leg for sure, because you kept on doing two Machinos twice. Yeah, another 2k, I was thinking I was fine. I would have just trashed this other one if I had to. One I, didn't, one. I didn't really need this for my turn, I just wanted to save it just in case. Well, that's the game, that's one match. Probably felt a little quick, but I believe it's a mismatch. I think uh, Ace definitely performs very well against this deck. This deck doesn't play high, you know, very powerful guys, so everything is KO'd. Yeah. Kuro is a little too too slow. Too slow. It's a lot of setup. My deck is like really good at destroying everything as soon as it comes out. Even if you played Ezo early, it probably could have killed it to mess with it. But yeah, that's the game. Thanks for watching. I mean, Okiko's winning it. More videos soon. See you guys in the next one.